This week on The Choice. It's deer season down in Kentucky. We are going out with our tradition nitro fires. Whitetail bucks, here we come. The bucks are in trouble. Rod, I think we did it. Hey, welcome to this year's The Choice. This, this week, but this year's. It's yes. a new year. A, it's a new, new year. choice season. It yeah. is. There's a lot of things to share with us. But we're doing this a little week, bit something different. What are we doing? Why? Starting off, usually we're like, hey, we're going to go down to Kentucky. We're going south. We're not going south. We're going to Kentucky. We're going east. We're in Colorado. We're in Colorado now. For almost two years now, too. Wow. Whoops. OK, he gets so. He smarts from his father. <laughs> mm hmm this week, we're going to head to Kentucky, the bluegrass state. We're going to go hunt our white tails with our muzzle loaders, with our traditions. And I mean, the thing we love about Kentucky is it's the place, the animals, but it's the people too. It's the people, the family. Absolutely. So let's just get going, shall we? We're getting ready. We are loaded up. We're heading to Kentucky and then on to Alabama. Look at how cute that Christmas tree is, though, for real. Bye. We'll miss you too. I will. Like we're gonna be just traveling like crazy right now, but we have our trailer with us because it's full of stuff for our friend Lisa, who we're gonna be hunting with in Kentucky. Kentucky, Alabama, home. Home. Christmas. Christmas. You see what New the Year. deer did to you? I know. Look, look, look what these animals do to my stuff. They right. step on it and break it. It's horrible. All right, let right, me go lock up. Okay. Oh, it takes so long. You want me to drive first? No. Beautiful. Alrighty. You ready? Yep. I need a running board to get in this truck. That sounds like a short issue. Well, we're traveling to Kentucky, doing some muzzleloader deer hunting with our traditions. And of course, we're driving through Kansas City. And what is in Kansas City? A Cabela's. So where do we have to go? Cabela. Cabela's. That is cool. This is what dreams are made of right here. Well, that's a rack if I've ever seen one. Would you just look at that mass? That is ridiculous. It's hung well. They always make fun of my hats every single time. So look at, look at that one though. It huh? looks perfect. It actually makes me feel like I got a little bit of hair. But see, if I did this, I could shoot. I might, I might like this one because it's lightweight. I'm doing it. All right, well, if I'm being honest, I spent like significantly less than I thought I was going to. So that's a plus. We're here. Well, we're here in Kentucky. It's opening day of muzzleloader season and we're running a little behind as usual but we're getting there. We got our tracker electric buggy, and we're here with Lisa and Sam, and we're gonna see what happens. It's all as simple, simple as that. Love 
the car. <laughs> we are in Kentucky, muzzleloader hunting for deer, and um, it's a special place here. Uh, Ron and Lisa Rabu family farm. Uh, Ron started WWO, Wounded Warrior Outdoors. Um, passed away this past year from a glioblastoma, a brain cancer, brain tumor. We weren't able to come out last year and hunt with him because we had COVID. So this is kind of gonna be an emotional, weird week, I think. Lisa's here, Sam's here, um, Ralph, RJ, Eddie, and I. And we're gonna see how it goes. It's a, just a little different. He's not here, but we know he's watching over us. So we're gonna go park our our tracker by that blind there and then Eddie and I we gotta head in and walk so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed maybe something good will happen. This segment was brought to you by Browning the best there is. The choice is brought to you by Bass Pro Cabela's your adventure starts here. Alps exceed your expectations. Browning the best there is. Cold steel anytime anywhere. Cyclops lights get out of the dark. Easton made in the U.S. since 1922. Gamo adult precision air guns. Hoyt get serious get Hoyt. It's deer season in Kentucky with our traditions and um it will be a good time by all. It will be good memories. Hunting in the bluegrass state is a cherished tradition that brings the whole family together. And this year is no different. However, as the hunt begins, the atmosphere is tinged with a mix of emotions due to the recent passing of a dear friend. Despite the bittersweet feelings, the Cianzarulos are determined to honor Ron's legacy and make the most out of this special hunting trip. As Vicky gets settled in her blind, Ralph is set up on another part of the property, hopeful and ready for a great hunt. These bedding areas, these thickets that Ron established years and years ago, and they come up, we got winter wheat here, here, there. RJ and I saw a bunch of big rubs down in this little swampy sinkhole of a woods there. It's just a matter now of sitting and seeing what happens. We're set. We are set. Scoot my chair up. You know, one of the things that we've learned over the years, for sure, is you, you want to make sure that you have the end of the barrel out when you shoot when you're hunting out one of these box blinds. Because I'm telling you right now, you will ring yourself if you don't have that barrel out. <laughs> Might be talking from experience, just saying. My traditions, the muzzle loader is sighted in dead at 100, dead on. So I just want to get an idea where 100 is out there with my rangefinder right now. So if we're lucky enough and a buck comes in or a deer comes in, I'm not going to have to keep worrying about ranging it. I can get an idea of where he's at and what I need to do at that point. So I just need to find a spot out there in this big open green field. Something's going to happen. It's day one, and this trip is off to a great start. 
Vicki already has a buck on the ground, and with daylight fading fast, she is out of the blind and ready to track down her bluegrass buck. I can see his belly. He's right there. It's been a rough season, I'm not gonna lie. Between Ron passing in the spring, Nani Rose mom passing this past fall, this past September, it's been rough. I haven't been out hunting as much as I should have been. This is actually the first buck that I had <laughs> within my sights the entire season. And you know what? He's a beautiful deer. He's gonna eat really well. <sighs> you know, it's about the hunt and it's about the people you spend it with, and the camaraderie. Gosh, I turned into a big old baby. It's about who you share camp with. It's about who you share life with. That's all that matters. You know, the guy up above and your family and your friends. And meat in the freezer. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. I made a heck of a shot, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> My traditions did exactly what it needed to. Thank you. This segment was brought to you by Bass Pro Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. This segment was brought to you by Easton, advancing archery's legacy since 1922. It's the first night of the hunt in Kentucky, and Vicki already has a buck on the ground. Emotions are high, as the weight of the loss of their dear friend Ron is heavy on everyone. Lisa, we love you. Thank you for letting us come out and still hunt. Come to Kentucky. Yes. Let's I know she's hang. waiting. I know she's waiting Let's to see us. Awesome. Right? Yeah, so I'm going to be honest with you. Oh. Look at you getting it done. Ron would be so happy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He'd be so I proud know, of you. right? Vicki is now officially tagged out in Kentucky. And now it's time for Ralph and RJ to get back into the field and pursue some bucks of their own.
exactly what this call means. Guaranteed. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Did you shoot something? I shot one. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I think we saw him go down. I think. Okay. I mean, he took, okay. he took this traditions hard, being a 50 okay. gal. <laughs> okay, my heart's racing for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, my love. I'll send you a photo here in a little bit, okay? Alrighty, congrats right. again. Thank I you. you. I love you too. Bye. All right, bye. Success is in the air as RJ makes quick work of tracking his buck. And he's not the only one with good news. Guess what? My dad just no, shot me. Yes. Sure enough. No, he here in Kentucky. What are the what are the odds of that? We're here taking photos of my buck, and I just got a message on my on my phone, with my watch, saying that my dad just shot one. Thank you, Ron. Wherever you're at. <laughs> I'm sure he's over by my dad right now, especially since he just shot one. It's been a little bit of an emotional week for kind of all of us here in Kentucky. But Ron. Thank you for the luck. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and Miss Lisa and everybody else, thank you all for letting us happen. This segment is brought to you by Traditions Performance Firearms. Feel the difference. The choice is also brought to you by Hunter Specialties, Serious Hunting Tools, Muddy, Serious Gear for Serious Hunters, Spy Point, connected to your passion, True Glow, when brightness counts, count on True Glow, Traditions, feel the difference, Tracker, built for love of country. The choice is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. It's muzzle loader season here in Kentucky, and so far this trip has been action packed. With Vicky and RJ tagged out, now it's Ralph's turn. As the sun begins to set, Ralph spots movement and the race against time begins. With less than 15 minutes of legal shooting light left, Ralph is anxious to get a shot on a great bluegrass buck. Vic, there's two bucks coming out of that draw. Vicky, you on him? She goes, yep. And we put this beautiful Kentucky whitetail down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, Ron. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ron and Mom, not me. This one. This one. It's been an emotional week here in Kentucky, and the Ciencerulos are tagged out. Now, everyone is spending time together, reflecting on the great hunt they had as a family, and best of all, filling the freezer while they're at it. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Guys. You know what I mean? Was. Again, we're just, we're deer hunting. Lisa, thank you so yes, much for your hospitality. Um, you know, I mean, we go down there and we miss Ron terribly down oh, there. Yes. Yeah. It I was mean, an it, amazing it, and emotional. There are a lot of feelings really going on all week long. There yeah. was, and even sitting right here now, y'all making my eyeballs already fill up with water again. But it's an emotional thing. And Lisa, thank you so much for allowing us to still come down there and share our lives with you. And as a family, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. No, it doesn't. It you doesn't. Know, and and to, to put great venison in the freezer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tons of memories, experiences. And well, seeing the bluegrass state and seeing all of our friends down in Kentucky. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Nikki and all them. It's just great yep. to see everybody. Absolutely. And thank you guys for making your choice. The, the choice. choice. We'll see you next week. Closed captions brought to you by Wounded Warrior Outdoors, providing wounded service men and women with therapeutic outdoor adventures. That giant moth flying around the light. Yeah, sorry. Well, I have That's short term okay. memory. Notice I'm not I don't remember much. Like, just saw some memory. Yeah, he doesn't remember anything. Together, whether it's like, short term or long term, oh he has gosh. none. None whatsoever, right? What were you talking about? Would you agree? <laughs> God help me. <laughs> and cut.